Hey, I'm Erica, a naturalist for the East Bay Regional Park District, here to tell you about one of the smallest birds of the Bay Area, the Rufus Hummingbird. These feisty little birds are only three inches long. But they aren't afraid to stand up to larger hummingbirds. And you may get to witness this in your own backyard. With the sun shining at just the right angle on a hummingbird's throat, their feathers appear to shine. This iridescence is due to tiny platelets that reflect light waves, creating the colors that we see. Male Rufus hummingbirds have a beautiful orange coloration on their backs and part of their bellies. Females tend to be much lighter, with a gray-green color on their backs and more white on their bellies. However, this can be confused with the pattern of younger males. Take a look at this female Rufus hummingbird. They actually consume half of their weight in sugar daily. Imagine if we did that with sugar. Or better yet, coffee. Right now, during the spring, we can be looking for them here in California. In the summer, they breed farther north than any other hummingbird, traveling to the Pacific Northwest and into Alaska. They may be the smallest migrating bird, but they're able to complete incredible journeys each year. The Rufus hummingbird makes one of the longest migratory bird trips, completing 3,900 miles, and that's only one way. You can help these tiny dinosaurs right from home. This species often comes to backyard feeders. You can make a sugar water mixture with about one fourth cup of sugar per cup of water. Just make sure it is regular table sugar, which is the same as sucrose that you're using and avoid things like honey, refined or raw sugars and dyes, as that can be very harmful. Make sure to change the water before it grows cloudy or discolored, and remember that during hot weather, sugar water ferments rapidly to produce a more toxic mixture. Instead, hang your feeder up in the shade. Despite its size, the Rufus hummingbird embarks on enormous journeys each year, overcoming many obstacles along the way. If you can, help them out by providing sanctuaries around your home with feeders or native plants, and check out the following resources for more information. Thanks so much for joining me, and I hope you get to see one soon.